Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be showing you guys how to uh, install Roblox add-ons. So you just want to go into your browser. I'm using Microsoft Edge. Search up Block Strap, and then go ahead and enter. Click hit enter. Make sure you spell it correctly. And then you're gonna see this GitHub Pizza Boxer slash Block Strap. You just want to go ahead and click that. Make sure it says Pizza Boxer and not something else. And then slash Block Strap. Make sure it says that. Make sure it says this. If it doesn't, if, if it says something else, then you're probably on the wrong one. You're gonna go ahead and under releases, you're just gonna say block strap and then the version. Make sure it says latest beside it. Make sure you get the one that says latest beside it. Make sure on the one that says latest beside it. Sorry, so then uh, if assets is like this, if the arrow is facing like right this way, then you're gonna go ahead and click on assets or you can click on the arrow, whichever you like. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on this one right here. Don't click on these ones. Click on this one that says block strap and then dot exe after it. You're gonna go ahead and exit out of your browser. Go to your file explorer and then go to downloads and then open um open the block strap application that you got from the GitHub page. Go ahead and hit install and then um it's gonna say this you can read it if you want i'm just gonna read it after installation has finished the block strap menu will be registered as an application in the start menu if you don't know what that is it's basically when you hit the windows icon it's basically this menu right here so and then uh, it also says if you need if you ever need to access it again to readjust your settings or access resources such as fast flag management you can find it there you're just gonna go you're gonna go ahead and click on install install it it's gonna say install in Roblox so I'm just gonna um, basically uh, cut the video and, uh, and then show you guys the part where it's downloaded 2000 years later so once it's done downloading you're gonna go ahead and see Roblox right here just close out of Roblox go to your search bar and then so you're gonna go ahead and go to your search bar and search a uh, block strap menu like this and then go ahead and once this pops up, you want to go ahead and click on it or hit open. And then once it opens, you can see a bunch of mods right here. Like so, I recommend keeping this one on. That's an integrations. I recommend keeping this on. So if you want your, if you, um, so basically to unlock your FPS, this is basically what m most people want. If you want to unlock your F uh, with block strap, if you want to unlock your FPS, go ahead and put your frame rate like sorry you go ahead and go to fast flags and then beside frame rate limit go in, in this box and then uh, type in this box your uh, refresh rate if you want if you don't know your refresh rate go ahead and search up view advanced display info and then go ahead and click on open and then beside uh, choose a refresh rate is going to show your refresh rate Mine is uh, 144 hertz, so it's gonna say 100. It's gonna say uh, for you. It might say uh, something else for you. Just uh, if this says 144, just type in the box 144. If it says 60, then type in the box 60. Or if it says something else like 90 or something like that, I don't know, or 120, just go ahead and type uh, those numbers. And so since my ref my refresh rate is 144 hertz, I'm gonna type in 144 like this go ahead and click on save and then uh, be f at, um, beside preferred lighting technology it's gonna say chosen by game if you want your roblox games uh, if you want like uh, when you join a game if you want that uh, if you want um, uh, roblox to look uh, very realistic go ahead and cl uh, click on this and then uh, go ahead and click on future phase 3 on save and once you save it's gonna say changes will take effect and the next time you launch roblox so and then you can also uh change how um the bootstrapper looks so once you uh, load into roblox it's gonna sh sh it's gonna show you um block strap it's gonna show that so if you want it to look like uh cool you can go ahead and click on fluent if you want it to look old you can go ahead and click on uh vista or legacy and then you uh, you can also search you can also change the like the block strap logo like the app logo I think I'm just gonna put it on um, I'm just gonna put it on 2008 actually you know what I'm just gonna put it on 
2011 printout. This looks pretty cool. So, and then you can, um, and then, um, uh, so once you've done all of that, if you, uh, you can also put the, any setting you want. So, if you want to turn on a setting, just go ahead and click the switch, and then it should show blue. And then, if you, um, like if you want to uninstall Blockstrap, you can go ahead and um, go to Add or Remove Programs. Just type that in to your search box, and then hit Open. And then you can go and search up Blockstrap. The search box over here and Apps Installed Apps. Go ahead and you'll see Blockstrap. Go ahead and click the three dots beside it, and you can click on Uninstall. And then that'll that'll basically uninstall Blockstrap. So then you can uninstall Blockstrap. So that's basically how you um, install um, Blockstrap and um, add mods and stuff like that. And then, um, yeah, under the name of the mod, it'll say uh, what the mod does. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.